Welcome to the party, pal. All right, guys. So we are on the new food vlog week. Welcome to the weekend, peoples. Let's get this yummy, tasty grub started. Back in the saddle here. So we're gonna do some dogs tonight. We're gonna do some Oktoberfest sausages. That's for the wife and I. Got some tater salad. And then the kids have their uncured beef dogs for the kiddos. So we got some fruit, fruit, chips, tater salad. That's pretty much it. The kids got the Udi's. I know, I know, I know. You don't have to say a word, I know. These are old school, totally bad for me, but we're gonna go with that. So we got the dogs here. Let's go out and get them cooking on the pit and then uh, serve them up for dinner. There. All right, peoples, this is what we got going on down here. Got a couple dogs right there, some chips. Some tater salad. Oh, got some cantaloupe too. I'll come back in and snag that after. That's what we got going on for dinner on Friday night, peoples. Later. Welcome to the weekend. Oh yeah. Happy Saturday, peoples. Just thought I'd let you see that you know, you smell that. Mmm. You smell that bread, TT. Ah. Oh, you smell that bread. Do you want bread tonight? No. So back to business here. Happy Saturday. We're going with the old traditional weekend barbecue fair. We got the taters. Here that Zoe did, they are all seasoned up there. A little bit of olive oil. I whipped up a huge batch tater salad there. We got some seasoned smoked burgers that are gonna go into a wrap with the toppings as accordingly. So that's what we got going on for Saturday night. We're gonna get this dished up and get the food all over our face. So if you'd excuse us, we'll see you tomorrow, later. What's going on, peoples? Happy Mother's Day. Hopefully all you mothers out there are having a great relaxing day and all your guys are out there helping your mothers have a great relaxing day by cooking and cleaning and doing all that good stuff for them. So, that said, let's get to the dinner party. Tonight, we just went old school, kind of like uh, picnic-y kind of food, just to just relax. And so we went with baked chicken, green beans, and leftover tater salad. There's nothing better than leftover tater salad. That's what we got going on. A pretty simple dinner tonight that the lady wanted, and so we're just going easy and simple. So that is what's for dinner on Mother's Day. What's going on, peoples? Happy Monday. See the sweat? <laughs> Tis the season, right? We are out doing yard work. So we did a freezer dinner tonight, and it's what? Party chili. I like cooking like that. So Party chili. Frozen. It went into the Instant Pot. It went plop in here in like a big ice cube, and then BAM! 40 minutes later. Chili, yeah. So we got fresh bread going down there, mm -hmm. there. Yum. Finished up looking like that. That's what's for dinner Monday. What's going on, peoples? So we're gonna go with the you know, standard operating orange chicken and broccoli tonight because it's well close to the end of the week and we're scraping the barrel on things to cook still. So we thought out some chicken halfway. So this is gonna answer a couple of the questions I saw come through about do you cook frozen chicken? So the chicken was only out for, I don't know, how long was it out, honey, two hours? Yeah. Like two hours, so it was still pretty much a solid ice cube. I always put it in the pan, turn it on really, really, really low heat, flip it pretty frequently, that way it doesn't burn on one side, and it thaws out within, I don't know, five, 10 minutes in the pan, it's thawed out like normal chicken. So that answers that question of can you cook frozen food? Yes, you can. So we got the broccoli right there, Rice cooking, and then we've got the secret sauce here, and I wanted to tell you guys what the secret sauce was because I don't think I told you last time. So, it is uh, garlic, orange juice, coconut aminos, a little bit of water, honey, ginger, and red pepper flakes. So, basically you add the pepper flakes to make it as spicy as whatever you want. So, I cook the chicken about three quarters of the way, and then I stir this up which is kind of thick because there's a lot of honey in the bottom. So I will get that. So you stir that up, dump it in here, and cook for another 10 minutes or so um, until it gets your desired crispiness or well done, whatever, however you want it. So let's get that in there. Get everybody in the pool. All right, peoples. Here it is all dolled up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There. Mm. Yep. It's good. So that's what the chicken looks like when it's all done, all crispied up. How you doing, Zoe? Good. So that's what it looks like all dolled up there, guys. We'll top it off with little green onions, a little broccoli inside, and that's what we got going for dinner on Tuesday night. See you on hump day. What's going on, people? Welcome to hump day. 
<laughs> right? What are we doing? Yes. It's that time of day. I made a delicious dinner, Yeah, guys. you did. Look at that. You're Shazam. So, you're so kind. Big old thick chop. Look at that. He would That's give Costco me the there. He did Look at the it. size of that. Got some apples up on there. Mr. Cook tonight. Whoop. And so uh, that's what we got for dinner tonight. Got some uh, corn and peas and... I like the steam. Yeah, wait, you gotta get it all tucked in. There we go. <laughs> that's what's for dinner tonight, guys, on Wednesday. Later. What is going on, my people? We made it to the freaking weekend, at least for me anyway. It is Thursday and I am off the rest of the week. So we are wrapping up this dinner vlog tonight. Tonight we went with a freezer dinner that I made like a month ago, and it's some kind of chicken curry. Couldn't tell you more than that. But it's really good. Christine's taken a bite or two out of things, and she said it's really good. So it was originally in the crock pot, wasn't cooking quick enough, so we had to throw it in the, the big pot here and get it all boiled up, cooked up, because it's getting late in the evening. And so that's what you do when the crock pot's not going fast enough. So then we got our standard rice. So our finished product looks like that. You got some curry, red chicken, above, or yeah, whatever, rice. <laughs> Thursday night's dinner, people. <laughs> wow, so thanks for hanging in there this week, folks with all the, the craziness we've had. So please give this uh, video a thumbs up and a like and hit the little bell for notifications and stuff and just you know leave comments if you guys uh, like the, the dinner this week. And if not, like it anyway. So we will see you guys next week later. Bye.